To me, what being a Sikh means is being able to connect with God. There's nothing greater than meeting God through meditation. I still remember the first time I ever meditated on God. When I was in 7th and 8th grade, I went through a very tough time. The other kids would laugh at me and make fun of me. I kept changing my personality and looks to make myself more likable to them. I ended up losing my own identity and feeling depressed and alone. Eighth grade was one of the most miserable years of my life. Then the next year, something very upsetting happened in our family. Our grandfather felt very sick and no one thought he was going to live. He was put in a special wing of the hospital where all the worst patients are and he was breathing through a machine, his blood pressure was unstable, he couldn't use the bathroom or anything for days, he was hallucinating. It broke my heart to see this happen. I even remember now, my father was so upset and I've never seen my father cry except during this time. He kept saying things like, you know your grandfather loves you very much and I wish I could have had more time with him. I remember seeing death as f the first time and being so afraid because I went to my grandfather's hospital room and the lady next to him was dying and the priest was over there giving rites. That night I had just about had it in the world, I did with the world, I didn't want to live anymore. So I went upstairs to my room and I closed the door. And our door wasn't locking properly that time, so I think I just moved like my dresser and my bread in front of it. And I just sat there and I cried harder than I had ever cried. I was all alone in the world, not a friend to talk to. You know, my mind wasn't working. Teachers saw at school saw that I was emotionally disturbed. And they had tried to send me to like the school psychologist and stuff. But honestly, uh, like I don't want to be stereotypical. This doesn't go for all counselors, but 99% of them don't care. And what you need to be a good counselor is you have to care. If you're the love's not there, you know, you're never going to help anyone. That's the truth. So... I'd go, I'd sit in the office, but I'd never talk about their emotions. Basically, I was all alone in the world. So I sat there crying and crying and crying, wishing I was never born, wishing my life would end. Well, there's a quote in Rara Sab that goes, Duk daru sukrog pya ja suk tam na hoy, meaning sometimes pain is the remedy when the person does not love God. And that's what happened for me. As I'm sitting in my room crying, I see a gutka. It is on the top of my closet. And you know what? I just figure, let's give it one last shot. You know, this better work. Otherwise, I'm through. And I go and get the gutka. And I had prayed before, but before when I prayed, I had just done it mechanically. I had read the words in Punjabi, not knowing what they meant. This time... Since I had a lot of time, you know, my family was all busy. I just locked myself in my room and I sat there and I read the English translation. And I decided, you know what, this world's a miserable, awful place. I don't want to live in it anymore. I don't care about it. I give it up. And from now on, it's just going to be me and God. From now on, I'm going to make God my world. The quote I remember exactly that inspired me t for to do this was, in a nun sab, when it goes the stanza, E man media tu sada ro harnale, harna roho tu man mere, duk sabisana, angi karo kare tera, kare sab savarna, sab nagala samrat swami, so kyo mano visare, kahe nanik man mere, sada ro harnale. And the meaning of that is, O oh my soul, always live with God, live with God forever. He'll he will destroy all your pain. He will take you in, take care of you, and manage all of your affairs. God is all-powerful and omnipotent, so why forget him from your mind? So testifies Nanak, O oh my soul, always live with God. That day on, I decided that 
from now on, my life was only going to be about God and about Sikhi. And I felt something that I had never felt before that day. Now, I'm not going to say my tears turned to happy tears because that's not what happened. But I felt like a feeling of safeness, a feeling that I would be taken care of, that things would work out. And that's something I had never felt for a long time. Just sitting there, it's like someone took one of those chisels and just broke down my worry and anguish. There's nothing uh, with as much power as Guruji's Bani has. From that day on, I changed completely. I started waking up with Namar Thuela and doing Bhat, and I just fell in love with God and thus fell in love with life. I had found my identity and I'd found happiness. I base my identity solely on the fact that I am a Sikh of the Guru and I am part of God. And where God is, that's where my home is. And wherever God is, I'll always have someone to talk to, someone to love, and someone that loves me very much. And I guess that's what being a Sikh is, being part of God, being God-like. I started loving the weak, just like God had loved me when I was weak. I started being fearless. I started getting all my pleasure from God and being happy all the time. And that's what the Sikh is, someone who loves God and tries to help others. While I'm no mean perfect, one day I hope I can be a Pura Amritari Sikh of God. And I hope I can merge in Him completely. Jo to prem killing ka jao, sir ter tali, kali meri ao, itamarik bad kari je, sir ti je koho na ki je. If you wish to play the game of love with me, come to me with my with your head on the palm of your hand and walk towards my path ready to give up everything once you keep place your feet on my path go steady and do not pay attention to public opinion if you want to feel what being a sick is like give up everything else give up all other clings you have in the world and just cling on to god god and guruji look inside you for the guru look inside you for the sad sangat and then you will feel what it's like to be a sick every action every thought every word remember god think about how can i do this so that it pleases god when you serve anyone serve god no matter what religion they are remember everyone is your brother or sister they are all god's kids they are all your same religion because god doesn't see religions and if you really want to feel what it feel if you really want to know what it's like to be a sick wake up amartvela pour out all your love to god repeat his name and then the feeling that you have every amartvela keep that feeling in your body the whole day and in everything you do it'll show and all your actions will become amazingly sick like conquer fear i remember actually yeah um this is a little side stray but i'll just you know i'll just put this i'll just put this in just to give you proof i guess that it really does work once you start trusting god all your fear just disappears from you i remember i used to be afraid to do anything alone i wouldn't even be in a room by myself at night now i go out late at night i walk around because i've realized that god is with me everywhere and my life is in god's hand no one else can bring pain and in a sense i know for a fact not no question about it that god exists cuz through meditation you know hence again here we go the glory of sikhism the nam i realize that there's definitely a god i've experienced him i've felt him those feelings are real and that's why i'm not even scared of death anymore i know when i die it's going to be god's will and the first thing i do is i'm going to go run up to hug god and you know just feeling this amazing about everything in the world you know utrat bethet sukhiya that's just the glory of sikhism 
That's what a Sikh is. I don't have the words to explain it, Sad Sangaji, but I really do hope that this slideshow, you know, showed you a little bit. And, well, um, may God bless all of you, and may all of you in your own way connect with the Nam and find Sikhi. And, um, well, on the way out, again, uh, I'm going to be just, I'm going to be sharing a poem and photos, but I'm not going to be talking anymore. So, Vaiguji ka khalsa, Vaiguji ki fateh. God bless you all. We walk with humility. We walk with pride. We're smiling on the outside, you see, but we're laughing inside as the Vaiguru mantar vibrates with each and every stride. We're defenders of the weak, protectors of the poor. Even when the situation's bleak, Guruji helps us to endure. With great spirit and technique, we'll succeed for sure. One in a million, we stand up for what's right, even if we stand alone. We'll work hard and fight till victories our own. With Guruji's kirpa, injustice and, entire, and tyranny will be overthrown. Our one goal in life is to meet the maker of our soul, to lie at Guruji's feet and put our mind under control. Bani makes us complete and Nam makes us whole. We can't be harmed by pain or tempted by wealth. God himself protects us and makes us obtain every single treasure. He himself takes care of our well-being and health. His glory is always beyond measure. We've made a promise to come to Guruji with our head on the palm of our hand. He himself will guide us and cause us to understand that true happiness lies in living according to God's command. Fear we do not know, slander we do not spread, anger we do not show, we do not have hatred, but instead we shower love alike on friend and foe. God please bestow on our bunt tons and tons of grace. May we always love and serve you, may we live in your embrace. May we do good deeds and earn noble praise. May our thoughts be pure and our actions true. And let us amaze the world with what Guruji saint soldiers can do. Pyari Saad Sangat Ji, Vai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guruji Ki Fateh.